Let's program and be creative. It's time for MIT App Inventor. Yeah, we're going to finish up our Animal Escape app. That's a part of Animal Park. In the previous video, we've completed all these codes and let's see what we've done. So right now it's checked. Let's see if this works. Cross animal. Cross animal. Cross animal. Cross animal. So you can see that works. If I turn this off. Cross animal. Cross animal. It's off. Turn it on. Cross animal. Cross animal. So there you go. Really, really simple. We have a couple other things that we can add. For example, what if we want to reset? We haven't done our play button. So when we press play, this should go away. And maybe we want to have a timer in its place. Maybe you can play for 60 seconds. We also need to reset these. So let's do our reset, do our play, add a timer in um, to count down, and we will be done. So. First, let's work on resetting everything. So to reset the game, let's make a procedure again for practice. So I'm going to say reset game. And what am I going to do inside of my reset game? One, I want to reset. I want to reset all variables. And two, reset all labels shown to the user. So to reset all my variables, I'm going to mouse over this. That's going to be zero. I'm going to do misses. It's going to be zero. And I'm just going to duplicate this block here and duplicate this block. But remember, do not repeat yourself the drive principle. Anytime you're duplicating code, you do not want to do that. You simply want to make a procedure. So I'm going to make a simple procedure, call it update display. I will put that in here. Now I will go back to procedures. I will call update display here. And I'm going to get rid of this and this. And I'm going to put update display. Now I don't need to put it both in here and here because either I'm going to hit it or I'm going to miss it. So I need to put two I can simply put it at the very bottom like that. Let's just, we made some changes here. So first let's, when I click on play, let's call reset game so we can test this. So my button play, when I click on this, I'm gonna go to procedures and call reset game. So you can see it reset and it also updated the display. Now, again, over here, I'm calling up the display. Let's see if that works. Miss works. Animal. Miss works. Caught animal. Caught animal. Caught works. Caught animal. Caught animal. So, so everything is still working. I've updated, I reset my variables, and I'm updating the labels. So this is really update labels shown to user. So very simple procedures. And this one procedure is updating these two guys and calling that. Now we have something that we did not code, which is our score. So for our score, we're going to need another variable. I'm just going to call it score and just going to move all my variables over here. hits, misses, and score. Let's just reorganize my code so you can see it a little bit better. Here's my button play. Here's this. Here's this. So for my score, let's say if I hit the animal, let's add 10 points 
If we miss, let's subtract five points. So it's very simple. Inside of here, what we're gonna do is mouse over. We're gonna add 10. So I'm gonna go to math, variables. I wanna get my score variable and I'm gonna add 10 to that. And if I miss, which is down here, Go to math, I'm gonna pull in subtract. I'm gonna subtract five. And I need to update that label. Well, I'm not gonna do it inside of here. Obviously, I have this new update display. So I'm going to go to LBL score. I'll pull this in. And it's going to be a join statement. Text. This will say score. And this will say score. So now, let's try. Let's reset. Hot animal. We've got 10. Missed animal. Missed animal. Missed animal. Hot animal. Hot animal. So one last thing we want to do is when we correct on play, let's change that from play to a simple timer. So we have our play button here. And to have a timer, just like we have a timer for this, we need to add one more clock. Now this clock, Animals have escaped. Please this help clock. us catch them. So I'm just gonna call it clock, time to play game. Animals have escaped. Please help us catch them. I'm going to leave it at a thousand. And clock play game. Inside of here, I'm going to need one last variable, which is our time to play. So I'm going to do variables, time to play a game. That's going to be 60 seconds. And what I'm going to do is, this is every second. Let's just add our comment. Every second, decrease the time to play the game. So, so one, that, and two, I'm going to, so the time to play the game left to the user. Three, if timer is zero, we start the game. Timer zero, stop the game, and show play. So this is what we're gonna work on. Every second, decrease the timer to play the game. So this rings every second. All I'm gonna do is do time to play game, go to math, and I just want to do time to play game, minus one, one second. Step two, show the time to play the game left to the user. So when I click on play, I wanna show that time in that play button. Well, that, button is right here, I simply want to update the text. So I don't want to say play, I want to show 59, 58, 57. The other thing I want to do is I don't want this to be enabled. So if I turn this off, animals have escaped. When I click, please let me help us catch them. Cut animal. Cut animal. Right now, my play button is off. Remember, if I click play, this should reset. So I'm clicking it and you can see it's not resetting. So when we click play, we want to make sure we turn enabled off and we want to change this. Animals have escaped. Please help us catch them. And we're going to change this to the timer shown. So here, I'm going to do three, turn off the play button until timer is zero. Timer is zero. There we go. So this becomes four. So step two, show the timer to play the game left to the user. I'm going to go to my play button. I'm gonna get my text. And 
and I'm just going to show the time to play the game. Step three, I want to turn off the play button until the timer is zero. So I'm going to go to my play button. I'm going to click on enabled. And I want to make this false. Step four, if the timer is zero, I want to stop the game and show the play button. So I'm going to go to conditions if I want to compare time to play game. So I'm going to go to math. Here's my equals. Time to play game is equal to zero. What do I want to do? I want to first change the text back from button, from a timer to say play. Let me just show you this. So right now you can see this is negative 69. Actually, you should change it back. So button text. And I'm going to put text back in there. It's going to be play. And I don't want that timer to keep going. So I want to stop that timer. So I'm going to go down to clock timer. And timer enabled is going to be false. So this block of code says, if the timer time to play game is zero, I'm stopping this timer. I'm gonna pull this down here. Let's add a comment. Number one, we're gonna reset the game. Number two, we're gonna start the clock time to play the game. And let's just add one more thing. User, user pressed play. So number one is done. Number two, I want to start this timer. So I'm going to, again, I can simply duplicate this, bring this over here, and turn this to true, which will start this timer, and then it will do all of that. The one last thing, reset all variables. If you look at this, I reset hits misses. I did not reset score. I did not reset timer to play game. So here I need to come in here. That's going to be zero. And time to play game. I need to reset that to 60. With this, later on this year, we will make some more complex games, but let's refresh this. Right now, because this is below zero, I could say, less than or equal to zero. And now you can see it changed it. But something also we want to do, our animal is moving even when we haven't pressed play. Where our animal moves with this clock timer. So let's actually rename that clock animal move. Animals have escaped. Please help us catch them. And you can see this automatically started. Well, we don't want this to automatically start, so we have to do clock time to play game, timer enabled, turn it off. Animals have escaped. Please help us catch them. And this is automatically moving. We don't want that to happen either until you press play. So click on this, clock animal move, and timer enabled, turn that off. Animals have escaped. Please help us catch them. So. I'm going to click on play. When I click play, this guy's not moving. Well, whenever we're playing the game, when you click this, I'm missing one step. Three, start the clock to move the animal. And that's here. I'm going to go back to timer enabled. And I'm going to make that true. So let's let this expire. And you can see expire. So now if I press play, when I click on play, what's happening? Well, if you think about it, play, why is it not working? When my timer expires, I set it to play. I stop the timer, but remember up here, we, we turned the play button off. 
so my clicking doesn't work anymore. So here, I'm gonna duplicate this, and I'm gonna also make sure I turn my play button back on. So now if I press play, nothing happens because this area is not. Let's simply refresh our screen. So I'm gonna do connect, refresh companion screen. Animals have escaped. Please help us catch them. Let's play. Let's actually make it a little bit faster. So my clock animal move, let's, let's make it 750. Animals have escaped. Please help us catch them. Alright, let's play. Cock animal, cock animal, missed animal. Cock animal, cock animal, cock animal, cock animal. Cock animal, missed animal, missed animal, missed animal. Missed animal, cock animal, cock animal, cock animal, cock animal, missed animal, cock animal, missed animal. If you notice something, my animal is still moving even though I'm not playing. That's why we test these things. So here, you can see I am stopping the game, but I'm not stopping the clock. So uh, just to be clear, let's make one last procedure. Start, stop, game. I'm gonna do some input, start. So this is gonna be pass, true, or false. What I wanna do is pull these in here. And timer is enabled, so it'll be true if I start the game. The animal should move if I start the game. So now I'll just come back to procedures, start, stop game. Here, I'm gonna call true. Here, I'm gonna call false. And I'll add my comment for you. Start or stop the clocks to play the game. So, let's try this one more time. Press play. See the timer goes. Just let it run out. It should call stop. It should call start stop. Starting, I'm false. It'll turn off both clocks, which will stop this guy and restore this. Let's play a little bit. Cock animal, missed animal, cock animal, cock animal, cock animal. Let's see if this works. That's just a play and the animal stops. So that is our animal draw simple game. There is a bug in it. The game is currently not playing. Cock, 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 animal. And you can cheat. So the challenge to you is to figure out if you know how to cock, 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 animal. When the game is not working when you don't press play, how can you stop this little cheating effect? So again, it's going to happen in here inside of if touched animal, but I'll leave that challenge to you.